Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's LTI Mindtree interview experience. This interview happened today only that is on 11th November 2024. So guys, make sure that you're watching this show till the end because a lot of questions I will be discussing in this particular video which might get repeated in your interviews also. And in the middle part of this video, I will also be telling you about the resources from which you can prepare for your interviews. Okay, so make sure to watch this show till the end. And guys, or if you are new to our channel, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. We are continuously making videos regarding different different companies, whether it is Accenture, Mindtree, Cognizant, or TCS. So every kind of video you will find on our channel. Okay, and do join this Telegram group also. This Telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students. The link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So make sure to join it. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so guys, the first question is self introduction. So guys, if you are following my channel, then you will be knowing that this is the most important question that will be asked from you in the interview. In this particular question, you can tell about your uh, education background, your projects, your internship, your skills, your resume things, any achievements that you have, any research paper that you have published, any extracurricular activity, anything you can tell to the interviewer. By this answer only, he will be knowing that okay, what all things you have done, and it is the high possibility that from your description only, he will be asking further questions. So try to give a very good and precise answer for this question, and try to drive your own interview. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. Next is explain the project in detail. Okay, explain your project in detail. So guys, I have told you that whenever you are giving the interviews for IT company, try to make at least two. IT projects in your resume. It will give a very good impression to the interviewer that okay, the candidate has done the projects and he has the basic understanding of any language, whether it is machine learning, C++, Java, Python, any language you can make your project. Okay, if you don't know how to explain your project in detail, I have a dedicated video for it on the channel. I will give you the link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to watch it. Okay, moving to the next question. Then there will be in-depth questions in project. So guys, see. Let's suppose you have project on machine learning. So you should know that what, how to explain your project. Okay, what challenges you face while making your project? How you overcome those challenges? What is the future scope of your project? And the technology stack use um, that is used in the project. So if I talk about machine learning, then what is supervised, unsupervised learning? What are different algorithms of uh, algorithms of supervised learning? Okay, lot. Uh, Linear logistic regression. So all these algorithms, basic information about that technology, you should know. The questions can be asked from that technology. Okay, I hope this question is clear to you. Moving to the next question, rate yourself in Python. Okay, so anything you can give, four star, five star out of ten, five star out of five. Okay, anything you can give based on your preference. Okay, you can give any rating. Okay, so now let's move towards the next question. But before moving towards the next question, I would like you to know. That on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have important interview IT subject notes here. Okay, so if you will open this link inside this important interview IT subject notes, we are covering total twelve subjects. Okay, for every subject, there is a dedicated PDF in these particular notes. Okay, so we are covering C++ questions, interview questions, Java interview questions, Python interview questions, DBMS, SQL, coding questions which are commonly asked in interviews, operating system related questions. Machine learning and cloud computing questions also interview questions also because we know that many of you will be having projects on these technology. Okay, so once you will buy these notes, okay, these are at a very nominal price of rupees ninety nine. So once you will buy these notes, you will see all the PDFs for different different subjects. You can open any PDF. Okay, for every subject we have given, if I will open this Java PDF, so we have given around twenty to twenty five important interview questions and answers for that particular uh, subject. So if you are opening this Java PDF, then you will see that there is a question, there is a proper answer for it, okay. And in some places there are code snippet also, so that your understanding can be increased for that particular subject, okay. So it is just like not the simple note, but it, we have tried to explain to you with the help of questions and answers, which are very common for all the subjects. For all the subjects, we have at least twenty to twenty-five questions as well as answers, which are commonly asked in the interviews and are from important topics. So if you are interested in these notes, the links you can find in the description box. It is at a very nominal price of rupees ninety nine, and the access is for the lifetime. So now let's move ahead. This is one stop solution for you for preparation for your interviews. Okay. 
moving towards the next question what are the lambda functions so lambda functions are in python a lambda function is a small anonymous function a lambda function can take any number of arguments but can only have one expression so let's just see with the help of example see this is the lambda arguments expression okay so add 10 to an argument okay so a is an argument here so this is the syntax for lambda function it is a simple anonymous function single line function it is there okay i hope this question is clear to you next is what are data types in python so data types again there are there is tuple okay dictionary list set okay i hope these data types are clear to you okay moving towards the next question python is compiler or uh, is compile type language or interpreter okay so what is the answer for it so python is both <coughs> a compiled and interpreted language compilation python code is first compiled into bytecode which is a form of which are, which is a form that can be executed by the interpreter the interpreter then runs the bytecode line by line so compilation converts the code into bytecode then bytecode to uh, interpreter read the bytecode line by line okay moving towards the next question how the compilation done in python the source code in python is saved as .py file which is then compiled into a format known as bytecode as i've just told you in the previous question the answer is almost same then the bytecode is then converted into the machine code okay which is run by interpreter okay so i hope now this question answer is clear to you moving towards the next question what is a database so guys see in simple language what is a database we need to store our information where we will store it we will store it in a database now why we choose database there are different types of database sql database are also there no sql databases are also there both have their own pros and cons but the basic operation of the database is to save the data uh, fetch the data uh, query on data okay so basically the crud operations create retrieve update delete so these are the operations which we can do on the database okay i hope this is also clear to you next is write a query using joins okay so uh, writing a query using joins this is a basic example that which is a query you can you can write using the joins okay select this and this so you can take the screenshot for it and you can move ahead okay so moving towards the next question is what is your expectation from us that is why do you want to join ltm entry what are your expectations from the company so anything you can tell that good work good learning opportunities for freshers okay since you have all freshers so a good technology to work on latest tech stacks all these type of things you can tell it to the interviewer okay moving towards the next question that is the last question of this particular interview that do you have any questions for us so whenever you are getting the chance always ask the questions that okay what does company expects from me what technology stack i will be working on what is what should, should i learn before joining the company all these type of things you can ask towards the in from the interview but do ask at least two questions it will give a good impression for the interview okay so these are all the questions which are asked from this interview so this was it for this interview experience i hope you liked the video do hit that like and subscribe button for the channel if you have not done it till now do join this telegram group it is for the 2025 batch students dedicated group okay and if you are interested then you can check out important interview it subject notes which are valid for every company that you will be giving interviews for in future they are at a very normal price of rupees 99 the links are in the description box do check them out thank you for watching this video